Greetings ladies and gents, my name is Chameleon and welcome back to Rakyan. Last time we uh, grew the tree, we got an apple, we fed it to the golem and now we can move on into this place of the area, wherever that might lead. So let's uh, get to it and discover this place, here we go. Ooh, it's a switch, that's something we need and it's a very nasty bird. Hi, buff close room, yeah, I'm probably the brightest close room in here. We're talking a thousand watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weight. That's awesome. Sign, Eastern Water Flow Switch. Haha, -ha, that close room is uh, so annoying. <laughs> These signs can talk, man. It's like no one cares how many reps you can do, or how many dead plant shakes you drink a day. I, I guess so, here we go. So now we've switched both of them, so according to my calculations, that must mean we've done good. But we still have the piggy. So, wait. I thought we flipped both switches. Why is the water still here? So we are not entirely done yet then. I guess. Maybe there's another switch which I just... Completely missed because I'm an idiot. Come on. There we go. Jumpy, 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 jump. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hi, dudes. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, I have to go down for. No, Mr. Piggy's right up there. Is this the way to get to Mr. Piggy, though? No, right? No. Because we have to prevent Mr. Piggy to get to the truffle house. That would be real bad. Okay. And then we move down here. And then, yes, and then we go right, and then that's, that's how we get to Mr. Peggy. It's gonna be good. Mr. Peggy is going to enjoy following us around and hopefully not eat us. Will, will, will the pig try to eat us, I wonder? Because that would not be good. Hi. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you got to feed me rocks or truffalos. I wonder if he would follow us if we used the truffalo perfume. Great idea, mom. Uh, does it mean we actually have to use... Okay, there we go. Wah, wah, wah! Uh -huh. Why you smell like Truffalo? I follow you! <laughs> okay, well, I guess that works. It looks like... What does it look like? Why, what does the pig look like? It's like... A platypus. Mixed in... With pink jello. That's how I would be, that's how I would describe him. Uh, I think we have to go up. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Now we should, yeah, okay. But we shouldn't go up. Because then we may go meet the truffalos and we don't want uh, him to... Then again... <laughs> it might be kind of funny, right? <laughs> What's happening? No, nothing is happening. At last, a chance to enjoy our journey without having to worry about an uncuffed pig. Well, he's right here. <laughs> it's nothing happening. Okay, okay. I figured nothing would happen, but still. But still. It's cool to try. But can you jump as well? <laughs> awesome. Very awesome. Here we go. You want to eat rocks? <laughs> rocks! Uh huh. The whole cave is made of, out of rocks, by the way. You know that, right? Bon Appetit! Rocks! Yum! No! Truffalo for dessert! Uh oh. Don't, don't do that. Truffalo perfume has faded. Of course it has. So, um... Thank you! Now I can finally get into my home. Too bad for the truffalos. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. The columns are always rough, rough housing. There we go again. I, 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 I know the word. I know the thing. Seriously though, are the truffalos dead? Are the truffles bad right now? Because I I, I, <laughs> I just want to check, okay? They're fine. They're fine. They know how to evade Mr. Piggy. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. They've learned that in their survival lessons. That, that's what they did. <laughs> okay, look, there's the other switch. I knew it. Huh. I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go roughhousing somewhere else. Indeed, indeed so. Western water flow switch. Yep. 
The lake has been drained. Fantastic. Great job. Thank you. So now we can go get the tools, possibly, for Jackie. Which is awesome. That's all I wanted in life. There we go. It's gone. How do you feel about that, Jackie? You drained the lake. Please bring me my tools and I'll clear that bamboo for you. Thank you, Jackie. It's very appreciated. I think the tools are in this chest, but I... Oh, I'm pretty sure there's another chest here with stuff. You found the blacksmith's tools. Awesome. And then Jackie can help me. And that's great. And I'm gonna move on to... Yeah, see, there's another chest right there. I knew it. I spied with my little eye a chest. And I found 10 G's. I still don't know what I can buy with that. Maybe from the mushroom store at some point. Sporking store. Oh, my wonderful tools. You give the blacksmith back his tools. Thank you so much. Now, as promised, I'll clear you a path to Morizora's Grove. Gonna meet Morizora. Well, maybe. Uh, uh, there you go. Well, I'd better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh. Oh, one more thing. Y yes. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's gonna take me a little time to get everything up and running again, though. So why don't you come by once you're done talking to Morizora? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Good luck! Sounds like a great idea. And then we can go back into this cave because there's a lot of bamboo that we can clear up to get stuff. Oh, yo, oh, 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 guys. This is it. We're gonna meet Morizora. Oh. It's not it, it, I thought it would be it, but... Hi? Why so quiet? I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many envoy beyond this point. Okay, thanks. It's funny that mom can walk past the envoys with... It's like they stand for some kind of... Like, they stand for fear. Like the boy who is in the hospital. It's just fear. And mom can help him with that. Whoa. Are those spirits? Those look like spirits. Is that Morizora? It is Morizora! It's like an owl and a teddy bear in one. He looks really cool. It looks like we have visitors. Indeed. Hi. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morizora's forest. Wait. We're just the, the, I call them ladies because they kind of look like ladies because they're wearing dresses. Doesn't mean that they are ladies, but are these three ladies? Just talking, and did I give a very low voice to a lady and not to Morizora? Probably. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Hi. Morizora's helper. You're so pretty. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not reading right now. I'm just... Man. That is beautiful. Tell me, young boy. What brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morizora... If he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Oh, that music is the same music as the intro screen. Now I know I recognize it. So pretty. I just... I just want to listen for a moment, guys. I wish I could understand it, so I know what there was... You know, I wish I knew the lyrics. I'm sorry, but Morisora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an or ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morisora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the Envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, 
merely passing through. Do you mean like the next world? Like this is... This is a place where spirits go to... Like travel through... To move on. Like they've died and the spirits come here and then they move on to the next... Place or world? Is that it? However... Oh dear. Lately more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morisora sleeps and darkness subsumes his lands, we all are in danger. Uh-huh. This is terrible. We have to do something. Dot dot dot. Let me try to wake him up for you. <laughs> My boy! Morisora cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Okay, what does that mean? Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. Okay. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears. The fear and longing. The hopes and dreams of those around you. Then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. There are like five of them. Exactly. Three, four, five. Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help. Right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. Was that Winston? I think it was Winston. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. Is that... Is that my mom? I don't know. Seek them out along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. Okay. See that one over there? Yeah? Yes? Shh! Listen. It is Winston. God damn it, why is this emotional for me? I just all choke up when I see his voice of his name. My wife's been asleep for months now. I've totally forgot his voice, alright? Just give me a break. I'm such an emotional mess already! Fuck! I'm so sensitive. <laughs> Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. Will do. So can I now just... My wife's been asleep for months now. Sorry, Winston. Man. So can I... Nope. Seek out those who need your help. In return, they will teach you what you seek to learn. Morisora is in a dark slumber. Uh-huh. I can tell that you've been through a lot, young one. And I even do not know what the boy and the mother have been through. Man. Okay. So that was Morisora. And we have to help Winston. And we would go to Jackie first, because he would give us tools. So that's what we should do right now. Oh, I needed that happiness, man. Okay, come on. Come on, Kamalian. Come on. Get it together, man. Jeez. Hey, guys. Don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. Awesome. Could use one. I'm trying to remember if I've seen Winston already in the Lebel world. Who are you? P-Dog. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Indeed. 
gonna go, uh... I don't know. I know they're talking about the bear as well, and we have the painter over here who isn't the person. Here's the blacksmith. Okay, here we go. Hi! Well, those are some big kick-ass weapons you have right next to your door, am I that? And also, why is this here? It appears that there is a room here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Which maybe Jackie can make for me? Sign. Tool menu. An axe. Camphor sticks, five. Nightstone, three. Pickaxe, camphor sticks, five. Lumen rock, three. Nightstone, three. Okay. Oh, hey, you guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. I'll need five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Guess we'll have to go to the southeast of the village then, huh? So we still cannot use it. I'm just trying to remember, have we seen or heard about Winston before? So the pickaxe I can use for these rocks. And the just the normal axe I can use on the bamboo. Probably. So can this is the sign. I cannot still pass here, right? You two back again? You you don't have to worry about us anymore. See, I thought so. I think we have to go here. And why is that? We just went through Morizora's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh really? Well, why didn't you say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass, but be careful. Th thanks dude. It's appreciated. Oh, is this Nightstone? It must be, right? It, it must be. Nightstone, one Nightstone, awesome. It's just a bin which you can fill with water, maybe? These are the sticks. There we go. So those must be the camphor sticks. Okay, got it. So we need two more nightstone and three more sticks. Why was it so difficult to get around that? Oh, look, berries. Berries! You never know. You never know when that is going to be helpful. There are a lot of onions here, by the way. Hi, onion. A mild onion. Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers, but they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. I bet you do, mate, I bet you do. There we go. Got another stick. Love sticks, love them sticks. Gotta love them sticks. And got another nightstone. And got another stick. It's gonna be good. It's, e it's easy. Mini Mori is 16. That's weird. We already met. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Ah! H. We already had Mini, Mini Mori 1, 2, 8. And we met a Mini Mori 14. And now we got a Mini Mori 16. It's interesting. Will there be a few, or maybe one Mini Mori that we will miss or something? Like, we should pay attention to that. 1, 2, 8, 14, and now 16. Hi, I'm a Mini Mori. There are many of us, and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Alright. So, number one is the oldest Minimori then. So we've, we've met the elders so far. <laughs> and another stick. Hello. A schmuck onion. What do you want? <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. You know, politeness and everything. So what do we have right now? Three nightstones, four camphor sticks, one more stick to go. And I cannot pass this blimey rock, of course. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. Nope, because we'll need a pickaxe for that. Um. Oh wait, we can go past that tree there, right? Smug onion, sm smug onion, just move aside, please. Yeah, we can, we can pass here. So probably this is where the last place where we will find one more stair it is. Ha 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 ha! Now we've got all of them, and we can even find some extra, but first we're gonna talk to this Liebel. Hi, Liebel. Liebel villager. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Festival. Ooh, I would love to go to a festival. And we got some more berries. And we got some more sticks. And I cannot grab this, but I can go in here. You found 20G, that's a lot. Minimalist cave butt. The Liebels use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy. 
But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. That's why you're a minimalist. You know, you know what I'm saying. It's overwhelming. That's why I decide, decided to get rid of all my stuff, except for my garden. I love my garden, it brings me joy. So if you're thinking it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box, he's standing right there, don't feel bad. I was already worried that you were going to say, don't grab anything from my box, it's mine, and I just already did it without asking. <laughs> I'm an ass. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first, letting go of your possessions. But once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Well, I'm not a minimalist. I like my stuff very much. Thank you very much. So, uh, you go enjoy your life without stuff. And I'll go enjoy my life with stuff. And we can both help each other out because what isn't your stuff is my stuff now. So thanks. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, right? Sure it does. Um, we have all the stuff. See? We have all the stuff right now. To create the axe, so uh, let's go back to Jackie. And then hopefully, we can go start uh, cutting some wood. And, and do stuff with, the, with, with that, or something. Let's see. We're probably gonna go back into the cave first. To cut around. Because that's just what I feel like doing. Hello! Ah, I see you found the materials for your axe! One moment, please. Awesome. I hope you enjoy your new axe. You received an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on the door up there? Chop it down, feel free to take what you find inside. Well, that's so nice. Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? That's a great question, boy. Why not? That's a great answer. <laughs> that's a great answer. Haha, <laughs> haha. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! You found a cat's eye marble? There's only one person I know who likes marbles. And that's Sue. Wait, do you have anything to say about this, Jackie? Welcome back, guys! What can I make for you today? A pickaxe? I'm sorry, but you don't have the right materials to make this item. You can see the sign next to me if you'd like to know what materials are required to make something. Yeah, I, I know about the pickaxe. I do, and I, and I also know I do not have the stuff. Okay, let's cut this down. And let's just just clean up the just cleaning up the clutter. And here we go. You found 10G. I wonder if I should give this marble to the Sioux in my world or to the Sioux in this world, or if it even really matters. And we can go here to the left because we have the axe right now. But we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go into the cave. And see what kind of things we can still cut up. And probably we're also gonna talk to Sue. And see if C has any interest. Okay, I'm just gonna move up here. If C has any interest. Nope. In that marble. The Sue in this world. And not and, and if if not, then. I'm probably gonna go move back into the pre- You're so happy! In the previous world. In our world. The hospital world. And give the marble there. And maybe that will do something. I don't know. Oh, you're so rich. And you're so smug. You got everything you want in life. That's that's awesome for you. Um, I, I don't think... Mr. Piggy is over there. We can still go there, right? And then see if... if Maybe there's only bamboo- and I know that they're in this cave, there is bamboo to be cut down to find stuff. Right? Or am I- No, there was, right? I'm- I'm- I'm, I'm very sh Right? We're just imagining things again, am I dreaming? I I'm probably dreaming. Maybe I'm not dreaming, I don't know. Not me, like the boy, I- I have theories about this. I think the boy is- Asleep in the hospital. Right now, and his mother is reading from the book Rakien Paradise, and he's just dreaming all of this. And in the end, I'm really, really afraid. <sighs> I'm really afraid the little boy is going to die. I'm really afraid of that. It's like this whole game, or actually, his mother through the stories is going to prepare him for that. 
And the game is going to prepare me for... Ah, there it is. For that heartache. I think that's what's going to happen. You found 25 Gs! <laughs> ah, maybe this spore shop is now also open. And yeah, there's nothing else here. So that is all here on the left side. So we should go to the right. But first... Are you... Whoa, little dude, you are so radical! Okay, unfortunately, we're not ready with the shop yet. Never mind! Great music, once again. So, we are gonna go to the right here. And we are going to see if there are any more bamboo shoots, or bamboo trees, or... Bamboo sticks, or... Bamboo! That we can chop down and open secrets, passageways, chests, items, money! <laughs> Maybe we can just get some G's. Though, I have, we haven't really found any shop that would really accept those G's. This, this, like... Right? Or was it the inn? I think we could sleep at the inn and they, they wanted G's, but I think that's all it was. Yeah, that's just a glowy person. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Oh, you're so happy, aren't you? Uh, let's see. Let's move on first. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, but bumping into your rocks. I apologize. Let's see. And there's more happiness here. <laughs> so much happiness. Okay, that's just a lever. So there's no bamboo here. I know we've been to all these places al already, guys. I know there's, it's much of the same right now. I could edit it out. But at the same time, I feel like this is just the style, the art, and the feeling of the game. And it's just so cute and cuddly, and I, I just don't want to... I don't just don't want to break up that flow. You know? So that's why I'm just telling stories to you guys. Uh, let's see. There, there literally was no... Did I just completely miss out? Well, no, wait. We can still go to the lower level, of course. We can talk to Sue as well. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And going down. Yes, see? There is one... Th there, that's what I can cut up. Let's see. Have you ever had a best friend? My friend and I would go everywhere together. Right, best adventures, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So I think we have to give the marble to the actual Sue, so to say. Okay. Oh, two chests. Awesome. You found 25 Gs. You found a Gollum child doll. What do I want to do with a Gollum ch Wait, is that from you? I've been searching for my friend for so long, I can't even remember where we used to meet. I have to find her. Okay, it's not the Gollum child then. Right? Right? Wait. No, no, I, I know, I just wanted... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I just pressed the wrong button. Items. Gollum child. A really soft, grape-scented Gollum child doll. Nope. But it smells like grapes. Okay, we're just gonna go move on in the lower area right now, just cutting away at this bamboo. But there was, like, this dude who wanted to smell like grapes or something, right? I think. Now, this is the area with the envoys again. They don't think they're here right now. Actually, I'm walking here right now, but I don't think it is of use to me. Because if I may remember correctly, there is no bamboo up ahead. I'm pretty sure. That's the happy dude again. Hi, happy dude! <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go find the dude with the grape. There we go, this tulip. I wish I smelled like grapes. So... My, my, my... My golem child is gone. Back to Sue. Have I then given the Gollum child doll to you? I've been searching for my friend for so long I can't even remember where we used to meet. I have to find her, but, but... I have this really catchy song stuck in my... Okay, no, no, I'm, I'm... I'm pretty sure. And in that case... I'm a glow shroom, uh-huh. Okay, so... I think I have given you the doll. But maybe that's... Maybe something doesn't trigger yet right now, because I wasn't supposed to go here yet. I wasn't supposed to give the doll to Sue yet, story-wise. I have to focus my attention on Winston right now. I think that's what I have to do. 
So, yeah. I guess we're gonna go out of this cave. And we're gonna go look around the village for more bamboo that we can cut down. And I know there's one passageway out here that is blocked by bamboo. So that's probably the one we have to go to. Right, the one here on the left. But let's just walk around first. And after that, we're gonna go to the left. So for now, thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode of me playing Rakien, then give it a thumbs up. And then I will see you in my next video.